2.38 for five shots. 2.5 to first. At seven yards, it's not horrible. 177, 198, 219, 238. So 238 for five shots. Let's check our hits. Okay, for a new pistol for me, especially at seven yards, guys, I got I got four that are practically touching all on the spine and heart. These three are practically touching. Four and five, also upper thoracic in the lungs. Hey, guys, hopefully you've watched my unboxing of the Taurus G3C and my unboxing in full range report of the Taurus 942-22 long rifle eight-shot revolver. We got 12 plus one, and the more I handle this thing, the more I love it because it's perfect size for carry. And it's just under 22 ounces, perfect weight for carry, three magazines, metal sights, a restrike capability. So look at my unboxing. The restrike capability means it's a wonderful training device. And I don't love external safeties, but it is a useful one. And you could probably leave it off. And I don't think it will actually uh, go on. It has a ridge. And, it, you know, it's it takes a good amount of force to put it back on, unlike some other products. So... Let's get down to it with the Taurus G3C, which, you know, is a great budget value option. You get a lot for the money. And it's a holster for a different uh, pistol I had still that actually fits it really well, so I'll be working from that. I've never fired a Taurus G3C before, maybe like three rounds out of a G2C before. But I have been using the Laser Academy, not fully set up yet, just using the laser at these targets dry firing about 150 times so let me i did a video on proprioception that'll probably air between the unboxing and this full range review on proprioception in my room on, on targets so targets online realistic targets so let's see let's try something new is it a natural pointer okay so uh let's go from ben elbow this is four yards the three yards is pretty easy at four yards let's go ben elbow see where she points it seems she's a pointer again. That was pretty awesome. Uh, let's try bent elbow again. Again, got like four yards. It's not so easy to see if it's a natural pointer. Now, this is a test and evaluation pistol tour semi. It's been through who knows how many other testers. Um, and I'm using some old ammo because it's 2021 and ammo is scarce. So, all right, let's try bent elbow again. Okay, I got him a little too high, but in the crowded, it still would have worked out good for me. Let's try it again. A box, dead center. All right, let's try a natural point extension. I love the size of this pistol, natural point extension. Without using, not even shoulder height, just down low. Let's try one at shoulder extension. Dead center. Let's try another one at shoulder extension. Dead center, A zone. Let's try one, gangster. Dead center, A zone, gangster. She's a pointer. Okay, let's try uh, on one legged kind of bent elbow extension. Oh, dead center A zone. Let's try upside down. A zone. Let's try gangster. Uh, I got this. Okay, I mean, I hit him up there, but that was bad. So, out of 12 rounds, you know, one was pretty bad. Let's see the results. All right, so it looks like I only loaded 11 up, and this didn't totally prove my point, but all were hits, though a pretty crappy hit there. Uh, but out of 11, six are Azo, from all the crazy stuff I just did. Proprioception is what I'm talking about, and testing your pistol, probably more like three yards. See if it's a natural pointer, this was four yards. But over 50% were Azo. People are dangerous five yards and in even untrained shooters. That is one of the points of this, and proprioception is the other. But, I mean, look, that was like a fist. So 6 out of 11 there, one pretty good there. That was an extension, just a little bit low, so still B zone. That was the last one at the end, I think, one-legged gangster or upside down, uh, something crazy. So, yeah, that's it. And three were a bit high, but still center line in the neck. Those would still work very good. So just take that for what you will. 
Hi guys, please everyone thumbs up, share, subscribe, get in the comment section, help me out, Am who's not cheap. Uh, I forgot to hit the record button at seven yards just to check the sights. I got three touching right there and one just, you know, a half inch low. So all there in the A zone at seven yards. All right, let's go for seven yards. Good to go, all upper thoracic. As you can see, not too bad. I'll have to get used to uh, double tapping with this pistol a bit. All right, guys, let's do some double taps at five yards with the Raiden's Tech range timer. I highly suggest this, guys. Uh, use it on your phone, and then you see what you're doing. Get different commands, different delays. I, uh, I'm not going to rush it too much for safety uh, today. Okay. Good to go. One point six, one point seven. A first shot, as I said, I'm really not going to rush, guys. I'm get that down to one five. Uh, one point nine six, two shots, two seconds. It's just because I'm not really used to the pistol in the whole yet, so I'm not going to go too too blindingly fast. Go so again. One five three to first shot, one eight three to the second shot. So a little slow on the split, quite frankly. Uh, but it looks like pretty good hits, pretty good upper thoracic hits. Look for the trailing accomplice. Then safely the holster. That was uh, one point six five first shot, one eight eight. So again, guys. Pretty slow for me, but you don't really know what you're doing unless you got something like the range tech. There we go. Alright guys, time for Save the Cheerleader, Save the World. And guys, if you're going to carry a Deadly Force tool, please look into getting my four and a half hour Combatives and Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. Go there, read the reviews. It's really important stuff. you got to have some hand-to-hand -hand skills. Okay, so let's see if I can save the cheerleader. Let her go, dude. Let her go, dude. Let her go, man. Come on, we'll talk about it. Let her go. Alright, he's dead. Let's save the cheerleader. Let her go, dude. Let her go, man. Let's talk about it. And T-Box, save the cheerleader again. Okay, let's go from holster. Even though I don't have an exact holster for this pistol, which makes a difference. All right, on the range tech. Let's go. Let her go, man. I got a horrible grip, but I think I still made my shot. So I got a horrible draw that time. 2.17. Again, guys, I pretty much you want this under 2.1. If you can get it under 2 at 7 yards, you're doing really good. Maybe with my own pistol, but, you know, here we go. Let her go, man. Dude, we'll talk about it. I, your mom's calling. I got your mom outside. Forehead. He's down. Save the cheerleader in two seconds. Come on, dude, let her go. Let her go, man. All right, right eyebrow. He's down. Save the cheerleader in 2.09 seconds. Uh, so just over two seconds. And you see I got a bad grip. I had to adjust and throw the shot before he's got time to go bang, bang on her. And let's see how we did. And I saved the cheerleader, I saved the world with the Taurus G3C. We got six shots, one, two, three, perfect tee box right there. Four, five in the same hole there. And six, fire, a, little, a little close for comfort, but you see it's a very small, that's not a real size human head. That's like four inches. So I saved the cheerleader. So guys, 1.81 in that last run, 1.81, that ain't bad on a hostage target with the new pistol holster, uh, etc. So, you know, you want to get 
two headshots under two seconds if it's your own carry gear and there's not a hostage and it's not a very small target. But primarily, you want to do this sometimes so you're not, you know, you're making sure that she is safe. So 1.81 under two seconds is pretty good. All right, guys, bad scenarios, multiple attackers. At least half my real incidences, half attackers, multiple attackers. FBI going up exponentially at least one third of the time. So my boy Danny Glover over here, yeah, my buddy, but it turns out Sergeant Murtaugh is actually dirty. That's why he had that big house in the boat. You know, he was doing bad stuff. So Sergeant Murtaugh over here, and we got Dan, uh, Danny from uh, Fear the Walking Dead over there. Let's see what I can do on the way to take timer with the Taurus G3C. I don't get any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Four point four two seconds, six shots, couple transitions. Headshots are good. I think body shots are good. One point five seven, a first shot. Again, I'm a little slow, guys, because new pistol, different holster, not specifically for it. One seven seven, so that's a twenty split. That's good. Transition two five two point seven again, a twenty split. Come back headshot three point four three. And then 442. You guys don't know what you're doing unless you have something like a Mantis X10 or the range check timer. You don't know what you're doing. You have to be able to know what you're doing. So let's try that again. All right, here we go again. What's up, Danny Glover? Why are you pointing a gun at me? We assess. Look for trailing accomplices. The getaway driver comes in. The girlfriend comes in, shoots in the back head. Pay attention. There's All right. I think my headshots were good on both. Uh, two zones on Danny Glover here. Sergeant Murtaugh, eyeball shot. I see a good headshot, I think, over there on Danny, but his, his uh, shirt's dark, so you can't really see it. But I think that was all good. Oh, let's check the time. Uh, let's see. 144 to first shot. Much better there. 165, 21 split. 238. Transition, 259, 21 split. Transition, 336. So a little slow my transition back to the headshot and 437 back to that headshot. So I probably need to work on my transitions a little bit. But guys, get the range tech uh, timer or Mantis X10, stuff like that. You have to see what you're actually capable of doing. Guys, thank God for my SSP eyewear because I just got some really bad metal shrapnel in my face. It was bleeding pretty bad a second ago. Can't really see exactly where I got hit. I think I got hit here. So, thank God that wasn't my eyeball. Someone shot the metal hanger and uh, got some metal shrapnel back at me. So, guys, always be safe. Always use your ear protection and your eye pro. Uh, SSP has been good to me. So, let's finish up here. Danny Glover, five yards. Let's move and beat him. Lander's shirt was in the holster. Be careful, we holstered. Lander's shirt was dangling out a bit that time. Okay, 1.46, that's more like it. Of course, my hands were down that time. 1.46, 166, 20 transition, 216. So the fact that a 21.7 ounce pistol, I can do 20 second splits accurately, uh, that's not bad, so it's handling the recoil pretty well for a light carry pistol. All right, deadly threat, seven yards. Let's do a fast five. Check the times. 2.38 for first shots. 255 to first. At seven yards, that's not horrible. 177, 198, 219, 238. So 238 for five shots. Let's check our hits. Okay, for a new pistol for me, especially at seven yards, guys, I got I got four that are practically touching on the spine and heart. These three are practically touching. Four and five also upper thoracic in the lungs. So actually, for a new pistol, G3C, for a lightweight pistol, it handles the recoil and is pretty flat because it's seven yards. That's, that's pretty good. All right, so I was better the first time, better the first time. We got one, two, three, four. So maybe my grip wasn't ideal. I'm not getting the best grip sometimes. And it's not the G3C. I'm not using a holster design for it. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's pretty good. That's on the spine. Those are a little too low for me. I would prefer in that nice, you know, seven inch, seven and a half inch pie in the upper thoracic. 
but it probably still would have done its job. But seven yards is not bad. All right, guys, I only got three rounds left. Towards G3C has been awesome. 15 yards, very skinny head on this bad guy. So if I miss, it's because his head's like, you know, less than four inches, like four inches wide. Uh, but let's see if I can make a headshot within three seconds. I like it, you know, more like two and a half. Let's see if I can do it. Again, I'm not getting the best grip though, so I might have to adjust. I think I pulled a little right at the end. That was in 265, 265. I think I might have missed or skimmed his cheek. Again, very thin head. Let's do it again. I also pulled it right yet again. Two five four. Two five four. Last time. There we go. I think I got him the right eyeball. Let's see. All right, not bad. If it was someone with even close to my big old head size, three would have hit. I mean, they hit. One perfect. One a little high right and one a little left. But that was like. You know, his head's only like uh, five inches. I mean, hand out stretch like seven and a half inches. So his head's only like four and a half, five inches wide. Uh, but that's not bad for a first time with a compact pistol, guys. So overall, uh, overall, I'm really impressed. I like the size of it. I think it's the best budget, best value for the dollar going right now. Because you get three good quality magazines. You get metal sights, really nice rated metal sight. Uh, by the way, metal sights, three mags, the safety, I would prefer no safety version, but I don't find it accidentally going off or on, I don't think. I would have to carry it a lot to find out. I like the restrike capability because that's a big, huge benefit to training, especially if you uh, do it with the uh, Mantis X Laser Academy, put that laser in there and work with that, and now you can do repetitive stuff, you can do build drills, FBI quals, etc. Guys, ammo is expensive. Please thumbs up, get in the comments, share, subscribe, get in the comments, really help me out, and uh, everybody stay safe out there. Look at my Combatives of Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD, and I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody.